A personal protection order against a Kent County commissioner accused of molesting a Muskegon County woman for years will remain in place. A judge decided this afternoon there's no evidence to support the PPO against Gary Rolls. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is live in Muskegon where the two-day hearing just wrapped up. See, Brian, this was not a criminal case, but the decision made in this building behind me just a short time ago could impact one we expect to hear about in just a couple of weeks. Gary Rules leaving court soon after the decision. Respected father, businessman, and politician, not according to the alleged victim's attorney. That is the Dr. Jekyll that we see. But what we've heard about the last two days in this courtroom, Your Honor, is the Mr. Hyde part of Gary Rules. The Rules attorney questioned the timing of the PPO, originally ordered in September, over a year after the last contact between Rolls and the alleged victim. The one explanation that's been suggested during the course of these proceedings is her knowledge certainly that Mr. Rolls is running for Kent County or up for re-election as a Kent County Commissioner and it would get blasted as it did all over the meeting. But in the end, evidence of sexual assaults and previous threats convinced the judge to continue the order. Before the decision, the judge heard more testimony from the alleged victim and others. She reiterated her claims that Rolls sexually assaulted her for several years and threatened her if she ever told anyone about the incidents. Now, that is a lie, isn't it? Rolls' attorney challenged the alleged victim under cross-examination, pointing out a number of inconsistencies in her personal protection order petition. Among the biggest questions, why didn't she go to police, even after counselors got her to talk about the alleged sexual assaults as an adult? And your counselor just decided to continue to counsel with you, did not recommend that you contact law enforcement about that? They all wanted me to, and I did not, because I did not want to ruin his family's reputation. Now, quick clarification here. Most of these incidents actually happened in Kent County, but since the victim lives in Muskegon County, that is where that personal protection order was filed. Today's decision could give the prosecutor more evidence if this case does go to trial. And as we've been telling you, we are hearing from state police investigators that this case, which has been handed over to the Ionia County prosecutor because of Roll's connection to Kent County, and we expect to hear something, uh, possibly a case in, by the end of the month from his office. Live in Muskegon, Joe LaFergie, 24 Hour News 8.